Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Liz. I am Beauty and Bounty. Um, for today's video, we're going to do a full face of e.l.f. makeup. Um, it's not quite a first impressions, but it mostly is. I went on the website to pick up a foundation brush and a new foundation, and they happened to have some sort of deal where if you spent X amount of money, they would send you like an e.l.f favorites kit. And when I looked and saw what was included in the kit, I was like, oh, I used to have all of this, um, but I haven't for years. So um, I have the foundation, I have a bronzer and a blush, um, I have some lashes uh, and mascara, I have my favorite glow lotion. Uh, before we get into the video, be sure to subscribe. You can click the little button right here and it won't navigate you away from whatever page you're watching this on. Um, I think that's it. Without any further ado, here we go. I'm going to try to use, um, as many e.l.f. brushes as I can. I have a few, but I don't have everything. Uh, so, to start off with, I'm going to prime my face with the e.l.f. Glow Lotion in... Rose. They have two colors. They have a, a pinky toned one and a golden yellow toned one. I have the pink one. Um, I really like this. Uh, I've actually had this for quite a while. It kind of reminds me a lot of the Becca backlight priming filter. Not quite as glowy, but it's very nice. Um, and it looks really nice even if you wear it like without makeup. It just gives your skin a nice healthy glow. Foundation I'm going to be using today is uh, the Flawless Finish Foundation. I have it in the color Light Ivory. I'm going to go in and use that for my foundation. We'll see how this color matches. I think I would have... It's pretty yellow. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure I would have picked up the lightest shade or the lightest neutral shade I could. That's usually what I go for is the lightest neutral shade I can find. Um, and I've actually, I've never used this foundation. I went on to the site for this foundation brush because the Tayla always uses it. Um, so I wanted to give it a try. I never got around to using the foundation, but the brush I have been using, and I actually really do like it. Um, it it gets pretty good coverage, um, but I just, I'm not going to lie, as a general rule, I don't like applying my foundation with a brush. I find that I like the finish of a sponge a lot better. So, and another thing, granted, this was like a $5 brush, um, the ferrule was loose when I got it, and it's not going to come off, uh, but it is very irritating. Like, I almost wish that it would come off so I could just glue it back on securely. Um, I don't know why I'm doing it with this. I'm going to do an extra layer of foundation under my eyes and kind of on my cheeks where we have a lot going on. I'm going to blend the second layer out with a sponge. This is the, it's a Sephora sponge and I actually really like it. It expands a lot. It's very um, squishy, but like still a little dense. And it has like this flat side um, to like get the whole face. And then it has this little angled side that fits really well underneath the eyes. So I'm gonna take the excess, put it on my eyelids because I don't have anything crazy going on for my eyes today. The finish of this is very satin, skin-like, but I can't decide how it's actually sitting on my skin. I feel like I should smooth it out with a sponge just to give it any sort of chance because I already admitted that I really don't like the way brushes make my foundation look. It's a little patchy up here. It's patchy, it's settling into fine lines, it's patchy down here. Do I want to try a second layer? I'll try to give it an, um, 
we'll, let's see if I can even it out a little bit with a sponge. Pretty sure this had claims of full coverage because that's what I was on the search for when I bought it. I just really wanted to find a nice full coverage foundation I could get down with. And I'm going to be honest, this one's probably medium. It's about as much coverage as I'm going to get. I, mm, do I? No, I don't have a powder to set from e.l.f. So instead I'm going to go with this Bare Mineral Duo. There's a matte and a glow and I just throw them all together and press them on. Uh, this is kind of my lazy day setting routine. It looks better set with powder. Still a little patchy, still doesn't get full coverage. Uh, under the eyes isn't bad. I don't really want to judge it on how it goes under the eyes because I wouldn't really ever do that unless I was trying to do a full face. The forehead is still looking patchy. Do I try to layer it on and even it out? No. I'd rather it be patchy than like look really weird because I kept putting layer on top of layer on top of layer. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to um, do my brows. I do not have an e.l.f. brow product. I am just going in with Old Faithful, the NYX Tinted Brow Mascara in black. I'm just going to run this through my brows really quickly. I'm not going to fill them in or anything today because um, I don't really have a crazy eye look planned. The reason why this video came about was because I went onto the website to get that um, powder brush and the foundation because I'm looking for full coverage foundation. They had a deal where you spent $25, you got a free gift. And their free gift was... Um, like elf favorites so it came with waterproof length and volume mascara it, it came with a blush and bronzer duo in St. Lucia um, years ago this used to be like a dupe for orgasm and Laguna I don't see it so maybe there was a different shade of these duos um, that was closer to that and then there's the ba baked highlight in moonlit pearls um, this was another thing. I also had two. Um, I've already gone in and scraped off the top layer because the top layer is really chalky. Um, the bottom underneath that is actually really beautiful. I'm kind of excited to have this guy back. Um, it also came with a clear gloss. It's just a clear lip lacquer. My face is starting to itch like crazy, and I don't know if it's because there's like little hairs on my face. I don't see them, or if it's an issue with the foundation. Uh, it does have a like a powder scent, but I'm not usually bothered by scents. But Whew. it's gonna take a lot of self control to make it through the rest of this video. Uh, oh, and I picked up um, some Elf lashes just to get up that twenty five dollar mark because I thought it'd be kind of nice too get some of these old favorites back in. Before we go any further, just to get rid of foundation lips, I'm going to line my lips with Rimmel East End Snob. And by line, I mean fill in, because I can't be bothered with putting too much effort into my lip color, if you haven't noticed yet. Okay, I'm going to go in with my Real Techniques stipple brush and um, go into the bronzing color in the St. Lucia palette. And holy Jesus, look at, let's see, if I hide, will you see it? Just kicked up so much, um, which I kind of don't have a problem with if you're paying $3 for a blush and a bronzer. Um, but let's go in with this. That's actually great face, Liz. Could be one of the good fellas. Um, that's actually a really nice color for me. And I'm hella pale. I'm going to take a Real Techniques blush brush and go in with the blush color. I really, I don't, I don't think this compact was the orgasm 
Laguna dupe. There's no way. I mean, because the the bronzer is very light, cool toned brown, and uh, it's been years since I've had Laguna, but I remember Laguna being very warm and quite a bit darker. Um, and the blush is a it's a neutral blush. There is. It's a neutral peach with a little bit of gold, but not much. Um, and I don't remember orgasm looking like that at all. But I will say... They went on pretty nicely. Uh, they're a little bit patchy where the foundation is patchy, so... Let's do eyes. I'm just going to take, I'm going to keep it super simple because I didn't get an eyeshadow palette. I wasn't, um, I wasn't really all in for that. I'm actually going to take that bronzer and hit my chin fluff a little bit. Um, so for eyes, I do have an e.l.f. eye brush. It's the e.l.f. blending brush and I'm just going to take the bronzer color. Um, and not do anything special, just throw it on the outer third up into the crease and blend it out. I'm just taking a clean Sigma E40 to hit the edges of that. I might... I think I'm going to take my Smith 232, 230, I'm going to take my Smith 230 and um, just hit the lid in that outer part crease one more time to deepen it up a bit. I have a Morphe M507, I'm going to run this on the Out our third under the eye. I'm going to take the baked highlighter. Let's do all the highlighting. I'll start with the eyes. Baked highlighter and moonlit pearls. This is a Sonia Kashuk small shadow brush. I'll hit the brow bone, the inner corner. Uh, I might even pack this on the lid. Damn, that's bright. I like that. I'll put some on the lid too. Kind of on the inner half just to brighten things up. And then I will take my ABH A23 highlighting brush and That's really nice. I don't know though if you're not the fairest of them all, if this would really work that well on you. Uh, I like it for me though. That's a really nice highlight. Um, I went off camera and did my mascara using the e.l.f. waterproof length and volume. I feel like the coffee talk lady. This mascara is neither lengthening nor volumizing. Discuss. Um, but what I will say is like the teeniest, tiniest little brush. Um, and I liked it for the lower lash line. I will continue using it, especially if it's actually waterproof. Um, top lashes, not so much. And then I have the false lashes. Um, I'm going to put on false lashes today. I already have this eye on. I will put on my left eye and tell you about the shenanigans that happened with my right. Um, for my right eye, uh, against my better judgment, it was like a false lash kit, so it came with the glue, and I used the glue, and I shouldn't have. Shenanigans ensued. The glue was god awful. The lashes aren't bad. I actually don't mind the lashes. Um, 
not 100% my style. I think it's been a while since I ordered them, but I don't think they had anything that was like really right up my alley. Um, these guys are kind of wispy and staggered lengths, which is nice. Like they don't, <sighs> these were probably $3. This glue is still tacky. It's insane. Don't use glue that comes with it. I'm using House of Lashes glue. Um, so they're not kind of like if you get really cheap lashes where they're all just like one length all the way across and like this thick band. These are not. And this is uh, the Lux Lash Kit in Flirtatious. So these aren't bad, actually. Um, the more I look at them, the, honestly, the more they grow on me. Don't use the glue. Okay, final thing I'm going to do, I have that lip liner on and I'm going to go in with the lip plumping gloss in Pink Cosmo. It's nothing special. The story of my gloss life. Can we talk about this highlight? Like, that's beautiful. I approve. Um, the gloss is mint cake. It's a sweet mint. Uh, and actually has some pigment too. It is stinging, but not bad. I don't mind stinging. I like plumping glosses. That's kind of like my go-to. Um, I like that this has pigment. I don't remember what other colors they have, but I would definitely want to check them out. Um, I believe that is it. So that is it for this look. I hope you liked kind of full faced sort of first impressions, kind of like revisiting old favorites. The takeaways from this. Um, the glow lotion in Rose. I love this wasn't a first impression. It's a staple. I really enjoy it. Flawless finish foundation. I have to keep trying it. Where it wasn't patchy, I did like the finish. It was a really natural finish. It was, it's, it's really light on the skin. It doesn't really look like makeup, but it did go on patchy. So I kind of have to keep playing around with this. Um, the blush and bronzer duo in St. Lucia. Um, I, I actually really liked these a lot. They're really great for pale skin. I approve. And then the baked highlighter in Moonlit Pearls. Love. In love. I really like this. I forgot how good it was. I had it years and years ago and I think I just got rid of it at one point because I do that to myself. Um, but that was very good. And then the mascara which I've already missed place. Oh, here it is. The lengthening and volumizing mascara, not so much. Um, it is waterproof, so I do like that for the bottom lashes. The brush was good for the bottom lashes. On the top lashes, honestly, what it reminded me of was the Maybelline Great Lash. Like, it just made your lashes a little darker. It did absolutely nothing else. Um, Luxe Lash Kit in Flirtatious. I think this is actually a good deal. Um, Honestly, the style's growing on me. They're pretty easy to apply. They don't look cheap. They don't look like elf lashes used to look like, to be honest. I'm just going to throw that out there. Um, I actually really like them. They are, they're pretty nice. They're growing on me. Um, and the gloss. Um, and the lip plumping gloss. I liked this. I like the flavor's pretty nice. Um, I mean, it's nothing special, but it's nothing not special. It doesn't taste like chemicals. It is smoothing. Obviously, I can't speak to the longevity, but I'd be interested in looking at other flavors. Flavors? Yeah, flavors. All right, that is it for this video. Go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to catch future videos from me. I am Beauty and Bounty on Instagram. My website is beautyandbountyblog.com, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.